Hi traders, Andrew Mitchum here and welcome to 2013. This is my first weekly video for the year as I've just started trading this week. Well, I hope you had a fantastic Christmas and New Year and you're really pumped up, exciting to get back into your trading. Um, just to let you know that last week I held a webinar for my clients and in that webinar we had some amazing results uh, as shared by Anne-Marie who lives over in Adelaide in Australia. Now she's been a client of mine since July 2011 and Anne-Marie, she's taken all my daily trade suggestions and she's entered them at part at the market and part at the retracement. So she's taken just half of 1%, 0.5% of her account and placed that at the market order and 0.5% of her account, so half a percent at the retracement. And uh, she's had, had a combined figure without compounding using purely a 100% set and forget strategy of an amazing 51%. And so she actually started in August of 2011. She joined just the month prior. So between August 2011 and December 2012, uh, she returned over 51% if you include compounding into that. So pretty amazing results. And I shared with my clients how uh, we're looking at entering part of the market this year, part of the position at the market, and part of retracement. And what that gives us with the unique way that we're entering those trades is a high risk to reward on both positions. And that's really important in order to be a successful trader is to have the high risk to reward trades on all of your trades. Um, what else has happened? Well, like I mentioned, I've started trading myself just this last week, now that the market conditions are coming back into normality after the break. Also, really excited to let you know, and probably if you're watching this video, you'll already see, my website's had a complete facelift, a complete overhaul and redesign, trying to make everything far easier for you to navigate around, and also supplying you with some really good information uh, as we go through 2013, free information that's out there that will really assist you with your trading. So keep a lookout for that. And also a few really exciting things to come that uh, not even my clients know about yet, but it's all in the, all in the pipeline and on the to-do list for 2013. Um, looking at the actual trades themselves this week, Definitely had some a uh, lot of strength heading into the euro. So the the euro has been going up and up and up. It did have a slight retracement, but overall been pushing up. And the Japanese yen just crashed. Just weakness in the yen. It's showing weakness against almost every currency, even the currencies that are looking slightly weak. Like the British pound's been looking weak this current week. But even against the yen, it's uh, the pound yen still been going up. So huge weakness in the Japanese yen and strength in the euro. Now that comes back to me being a technical trader and why I love technical trading. Because there may be some fundamentals out there to say, well, really, is this euro overpriced? Is it too high? Well, to me, it doesn't matter why it's going higher. The fact is that it is being driven higher. Same with the yen, it's been pushed down. And, and so why it's happening? Well, you know, I don't really worry too much about that. So it's really important to use a phrase that I teach my clients, and it's this. Trade what you see, not what you think. And put, thinking of that sort of whole phrase and concept, when you see something on the charts that's an obvious bullish pattern, take it. If the longer term's up and the, let's say, the four hour chart or the hour chart showing a bullish pattern, then take it. So it's trading what you see. You know, almost, for, don't forget the fundamentals, but almost forget them. You know, because they can really sort of cloud your mind and your vision and get you slightly confused. And so very often you'll find that even after a news announcement, that you expect the currency to fall, but it rises. And so the charts tell you where the price is actually heading. So that's why I'm strongly a technical trader. It definitely helps you keep on the right side of the market. So just remember that when you trade next time, trade what you see, not what you think. So that's all for now. Hope you have a fantastic week, and I look forward to talking to you this time next week.